A square in the coordinate plane has vertices whose y coordinates are 0, 1, 4, and 5. What is the area of the square? Well, let's start by drawing a such square whose y coordinates are 0, 1, 4, and 5. Let's say one of the vertices lies at the origin with the y coordinate of 0, and we can think of another vertex lying when y is 1. And another vortex lying when y is 5, another vortex lying when y is 4. This looks like k square. So let's let's connect let's connect the dots. This is supposed to be a square. Now, how can we find the area of this square? How, what we can do is we can draw a bigger square, we can draw a green square around the blue square which we know the area of. Now, what's the area of this green square? Well, the length of length of this is one, and the length of length of this, uh, actually, actually, the length of the entire entire side of this green square is five. So we know the area of the entire green square is twenty-five. So we know the area of the entire green square is twenty-five. How about the area of these red triangles? Well, we have four red triangles that are congruent to each other. So we know if we can find the area of one of them, we can multiply by 4 to find the sum of the areas of all of them. Now what's the area of one of them? Well, the length of this is 1, and length of this is 5 minus 1 or 4, and we know length of this is 1, so we know length of this has to be 1. So the area of this thing is going to be 1 times 4 over 2, or 2, and since we have 4 since we have four triangles, the area is going to be two times four or eight. Now, what's the area of the blue blue square? Well, that's going to be twenty-five minus eight or seventeen.